welcome to my personal vlogging uh, for today it will be different I'll be taking you along with me how I work the whole day so technically you will be with teacher Maria the whole day <laughs> not really 24 hours but I will show you bits and pieces of the highlights of how I work on a day so basically we are working from home we are teaching online so it's uh, 7 20 let me just check so I just took a shower and everything and it's 7 20 in the morning yes it's 7 20 in the morning and uh, 7 30 I set up all my, my attendance uh, for each classes so I, I put in an announcement for them to key in their attendance or mark their attendance and then classes starts at 8 30 but I do not have class at 8.30, uh, I only have class at 11.50. So what I do is um, I'll do the administrative work uh, from 8.30 until before my class. So yeah, so I'll, I'll show you um, the first thing that I'll do. Um, I'll go to the uh, Google Classroom and set up the attendance and then uh, students will be marked with their um, attendances and then 8.30 classes starts and I have to follow up each and every classes um, as to who is late in their classes as to who are um, not still in class until 10 minutes or 5 minutes then um, we mark them accordingly with their attendance okay so let's go and work <laughs> So in in um, in the in the attendance, um, I basically use um, different quotes or highlights for the day. So this is a bit of a tip to all teachers. So when I post my attendance every day, it will be different. Yeah, I, I give them like quotes or something. So I, I would normally say um, class attendance. So it's 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 a Friday. So what I do is I'll put um, the theme is a Friday focus, and I would just make a shout out to those students who who did very well the of uh, for the whole week, and I'll put a, a challenge, a fun challenge. I, I normally do that, and I'll say let us wear something. Uh, shade of brown so I'm wearing something shade of brown <laughs> not really but yeah something shade of brown so I would ask them to wear something shade of brown because they're not wearing uniform from home so yeah so I'll just set up the attendance so if it's a Monday let me just set up the attendance oh, where is it Yeah, so if it's a, a Monday, a Monday is your uh, Motivation Monday, Motivation Monday. So I put in a, um, a quote about motivation, motivating them that you can handle whatever it is the whole week, blah, blah, blah. And that will be the, the, the Monday one. So Motivation on Monday and I'll put like a fun challenge, let us wear something in the shade of red. And then Tuesday will be um, Word. Uh, word power Tuesday so since we have a, a few of the foreign languages as our subject so I I would put like a, a word here is the word for the day like uh, Tuesday what is Tuesday in German so Tuesday in German what is Tuesday in Mandarin what is Tuesday in Spanish and so on so that's uh, Tuesday and then Wednesday we have Wisdom Wednesday so uh, again I'll put a quote of like um, word of wisdom for that day like the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today so that's kind of a wisdom thing <laughs> so that's a that's a Wednesday and then of course Thursday will be throwback Thursday yes it's a throwback Thursday so I would I would put a quote like uh, Thursday gives us um, the the opportunity to to look back what what we have done for the whole week and 
it means that you can celebrate what you have accomplished and take note of the challenges and do better. So that's what I do with, with the students. If it's a throwback Thursday and then I'll ask them, wear something in a shade of yellow today or wear something so they, they do have fun. Okay, so I'll just uh, post all the attendance and then I'll get back to it. Hi, so I'm back with my work. Uh, what I'm currently doing is I'm checking all the reports so that that will come up, uh, that will be given back to the students at the end of the term. So all the reports must be filled in, all the subject comments must be in, and everything. So just checking on that, <coughs> and then finalizing on. Um, so we have just finished um, exams, so I have to finalize the um, exam analysis. So yeah. So for the teachers, um, just a, um, a few things. Um, if it is, um, exam analysis are very important. And uh, for the reason, uh, you would be able to understand more uh, what to do with your subject and how to approach it uh, the next year or, the, or how to turn over your work to the next subject teacher so just need to check like <clears throat> for example this student um, uh, what are if if this is a weak student you have to inform the next teacher um, the things that the teacher should know and needs to do so basically those things so let me just complete and my phone is very busy as well students uh, I mean teachers sending messages it's a busy week basically it's a busy week because uh, we're on the uh, end part of the term so analysis exam analysis report cards and stuff like that so it's, it's a busy week though I'm working from home but I'll be sitting in this chair for probably the next uh, seven hours six hours but tip uh, you should at least uh, stand up and do something. Okay. So <clears throat> we have some homeroom teachers. Um, uh, if they do not have, so we have a, a system online that where we put in all the comments and all the grades and um, extracted from that, and we have the report. So uh, some of the teachers would ask me like there are there are. Uh, comments that they cannot cha uh, change or check, uh, they would need my help. So uh, that's what I'm doing and that's why my phone is a bit busy. All the classes are finished, but still I'll be working until 4 in the afternoon or 5 in the afternoon. I have two meetings today. One will be with um, a few teachers or the whole secondary teachers and then uh, after that um, I have meetings with parents um, so yeah it's, it's it's a bit of a very uh, busy day but normally in a normal day um, it will only be more on uh, work like uh, replying to email um, sending out emails or preparing documents and then doing my classes and then after that, continue working on documents, checking documents. <laughs> so basically, that's how I, I have my day uh, as a teacher. So yeah, so if you are teaching online, a uh, few tips. Um, one is you have to make your classes engaging. Um, as as far as you as a human being is concerned and as a teacher, you would also be stressed out with facing this um, screen the whole day. I'm, I'm facing my screen the whole day. So, um, so is the, the kids you're teaching. So make sure that your teaching is um, indulging, exciting and, uh, you know, interesting for, for kids. So make use of PowerPoint presentations, make use of videos, make use of whiteboards, 
uh, make use of some activities or you know fun games uh, educational games to use so that uh, your students won't be bored uh, sitting and facing you in front of the computer for the whole 15 minutes and also um, in terms of of documentation and everything Google Drive or the Google itself is a big help so it's easier for you to share and send email or sharing documents is easier with Google Drive so you just need to do it and of course if you have your school system um, it's easier as well to key in marks grades and comments if they are all in in, in 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 one system as well so um yeah i'm always saying so <laughs> so it's um yeah i finished all my classes and i, mean, I finished my class because i only had one class and i'll just finish up all the documents that i need and the presentation that i have to prepare for the meeting later so i'll talk to you after this and then um, normally I take a break um, eat my lunch after uh, probably around uh, after whatever I've finished and then I'll eat my lunch and then um, again come back sit here and prepare and then I'll, I'll get in touch with all of you okay hi welcome back it's it has been a very tiring day um, so I just finished my meeting with the teachers and in a few minutes uh, the parents meeting will start so I'm just stretching out standing walking and by the way this is the the view outside yeah that's the main road there and then yeah there are some restaurant on the opposite side so what can I say? <laughs> this is a life of a teacher working from home. So basically what I'm actually doing is um, working from 7.30, yes. Uh, doing administrative work, uh, following up and then some classes. And then at the end of the day, I have some meetings with teachers and with um, parents. So that is it. And then of course, break in between. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. So I'll, I'll take you later because um, a few of my friends asked me to, uh, to go with them it's a lockdown here it's on mco movement control order by the government and um, but we can walk we can walk or go cycling as long as you you know you follow sop and then you are okay so i'll take you later so it will be happening after my meeting with the parents and i'll, I'll rest for probably an hour and then i'll join them later just for a walk you know it's 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 good to to stretch out and it's a friday come on <laughs> so normally i i don't go out i i seriously don't go out because it's mco and you can do anything precisely exactly you can do anything when you go out so i'll just go out with them and i'll, I'll shoot a few views and I, I do not know if they wanted to be part of my vlog but i'll do um take you with me okay see you later there's other people with me walking today all my colleagues yeah because we can't go out and it's a bit hard because of the lockdown so we just walk on the street so they don't know that i'm filming them <laughs> It's a nice, beautiful place. Hi. <laughs> so we just we just finished with our jog, and um, I'm actually on my way home. And yeah, so basically that's the end of the day. That's the end of uh, how Teacher Maria actually spends her day. So work from morning, and then later after all the meetings after work, I I go out and and 
you know catch up with friends so walk around because it's mco so we cannot dine in anywhere outside so basically just walk around and and have a drink i mean buy a drink on uh, drive through and so on so i'm heading home i'll be um, taking shower just refresh relax and call home catch up with family catch up with my kids talk and you know chit chat and then just killing the time so basically that's my whole day <laughs> so nothing much but i hope that you enjoy being with me for one day as teacher maria as a teacher as someone working and being alone so hope to see you with another vlogging soon more personal vlogging so thank you everyone for watching don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you would know when our next vlog will be released. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.